Uh, once again, my dear viewer, welcome to Dr. Paul Kibicho YouTube channel. Today, just like I had mentioned earlier on, I want us to look at a few things that makes a leader to be a trusted leader. I'll be very brief and to the point, and I want us to look at what we call at least 10 very, very unique perspectives on what makes a leader to be a leader. And not necessarily a leader per se, but to be a trusted leader. Because more often than not, people whom we entrust our resources with, they are not people who can be called uh, trustworthy people. So I want us to look at a few things that makes people, or rather a group of men or women, to be trusted with people's properties. Like you now at Quest Pinnacle Investment Ventures Limited, what is it that has made people whom I have never met face to face to become part and parcel of Quest Pinnacle Investment Ventures Limited. And it is important to realize that not everybody can be entrusted with people's resources, with people's affairs, with people's assets, and so, uh, and so on and so forth. So we need to ask ourselves a few questions. What makes this person to be trusted by people? Why is it that I have got my brothers and sisters in the diaspora who have been sending their millions of shillings to me personally because as much as Quest Pinnacle Investment Ventures Limited has got other board of directors, the contact person, the, peop the person that you know, the person that you can associate with, yourself with, is Dr. Paul Kibicho. So what is it that makes somebody to be a trustworthy or to be a trusted leader? Number one, they are, these kind of people are always consistent. Consistent means that whatever it is that they do, they can repeat it today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Meaning that they have what we refer to as that predictable quality of a leader. That people, whatever you do, whatever you say today, you can repeat it tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And the people that you stay with, they, they understand you and they knew as such. They are authentic in life. Authentic means these are people who understand what it is that people go through in life what is said that people experience, what are their emotions, what are their feelings. Very, very important. A person who can be trusted with people's money, investments, assets, and what have you, they have to be very, very, uh, to be a man and women of integrity. Men and women of integrity basically means these are people whose name has not been actually shrouded by, with mystery of uh, corruption, mystery of basically lobbying people, mystery of actually having been somewhere and you have carried what we call with you some soil because of doing things not in the right way. A person of integrity is a person whose reputation has not been dented. These are the kind of people that we can entrust our resources, our assets, and our money with. They are, they are compassionate. Compassionate means, just like the word compassionate means, they have feelings of individuals in their bloodstream, in their systems. They actually look at what we call believing that the people they are reading they have feelings and they have emotions. And therefore they put, just like empathy, they put themselves into other people's positions to be able to uh, lead the people that have been given by God. They are people who are a kind. Kind people are those who do not go hurting others, uh, people's emotions. They are people who factor in other people's feelings. They are people who do unto others as they would like them to do unto them. So these, these are people who express this element of kindness. They have this element of kindness in their hearts and they do things that do not go infringing on other people's lives. The other thing is that they are resourceful. A resourceful person basically means there are people who add value to others. There are people who are at a higher level, at a higher pedestal level, at a, 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 a least priority form that they can be able to make others benefit out of their knowledge, out of their knowledge base, out of the expertise that they have. Like now I've been sharing a lot of information with you people on my YouTube channel without even, without expectations of being paid at times. But I know by the end of it all, the people that I lead have been able to get confidence, they have gotten confidence in me, and that is why I do business with people. That's why they can even be able to entrust me with their resources to be able to invest on their behalf. We are talking about people, the traits, the qualities, the characteristics, the attributes uh, that an individual who can be trusted must bear. So they are a resourceful people, people who can be able to help others see a little bit far and make a difference in their lives. What about uh, being connectors? Connectors means you need to look at an individual. How influential is this particular individual? How far can he help? How, ca how is he known? And if he's known, on which side of life is he known? Is he a, good, a man of good standing? A, good good, a man of good reputation? A man who can be said to be without reproach? These are the things that we look for 
in a person to entrust our resources with. And I believe this father, I thank God, this father Lord, has been very faithful. I have been leading quite a number of organizations in various uh, consultancies and I have been never been I have never been implicated in any kind of a scandal. We require that kind of an individual who's long standing uh, integrity position and character and reputation are not questionable. A man whose quality whose integrity is not questionable. So those are the people that who can be able even to take you to greater heights. And I thank God, and I've been saying with a lot of humility, the reason as to why His Excellency, the President Uhuru Moyai Kenyatta, rewarded me, or awarded me with the Head of State Commendation, it is my contribution to the community. And that alone gives people credit, a credit and they, they take me to be a, a serious Kenyan, and as such, they can be able to work with me. The other thing is that there are people who are humble, people who can comfortably uh, fit into any given a setup without necessarily violating other people's lives. People who do not find themselves are to be there to, to be there no at all. And sorry for this. Oh.